Come on, let me stick, stick my balls in your box. Welsh Gamer and welcome back to my channel. Today we're checking out Futu Class. Futu Class. Future Class. Today we're checking out Chemistry. Yay! So this is adding to my other learning apps. We've learned some languages. We've had a flashcard learning game and now we're going to learn some science. So we're going to jump into the three sections here. I'll put all the details down below. This is on SideQuest and you can pay for whatever you want to learn about. So the first one is atom structure. This will teach you about atoms and what they're made of and you will learn about protons and neutrons and all that jazz. Okay, so, so here we are. We've got all this information here. So you can just go through here if you don't understand anything. So that if you're in school and you're learning science, this is brilliant. So it'll explain what a proton is. A go. proton is a positively charged particle in the atomic nucleus. So he wants us to create lithium. So every time you shoot this proton gun, it'll come up with what it is. So the first one, one, is hydrogen. Two, helium. Three is lithium. Create aluminum. Aluminum or aluminium, as we call it. Now create aluminium. So where are we? So that's all the way down here. I think it's, so it's 13. Pew. Pew. There you go. There's aluminium. It's a good way of learning, actually. So we've got to create silicone. So the mass is 14. 15. I think we've got to get the 28. Let's have a look if that works. Pew, 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 pew. Let's see if that number works. We've got 28 there. Silicone. Yes. So now I have both guns. So we're on level three. So we've got to make a atomic mass of 14. Damn! I can't figure out the atomic mass of this mother So it's, I think you just pretty much bounce it in and see what we got. Let's see if that's 14. Um, go. No. One in. Yes. Create an element with the atomic mass of 27. 27. Oh, I was, I was a guess. I was 28. Uh, aluminium. Oh, so we got so aluminium is 27. So let's remove one of these and remove one of these and put some more of those on and go. Yes. Well, a bit. A little bit of luck, really. Number six. So I think it's six of these. And then we've got some protons. And then, which is six, which is there. And then the neutrons is the 12. Oh, I'm getting brilliant at this now. So this, this is a really good way of learning, actually. So sodium. So here we go. So sodium, we got 11 of these. So on the, can you see on the left hand side, it shows you the number, we've got 11 of those, of sodium. So we've got um, protons, you keep clicking until you get there, pretty much. So at 11, again, protons. And neutrons, you've got to get to 23. So there you go, so keep, keep shooting this, so you get to 23. So sodium, Na, looks like that, shoots like that, and I'm right, boom, boom. Okay, so now we're learning about electron shells. Look at this. I'm just like the science guy. Easy as that. What is it? Is it Bill Nye the science guy? Is it? I can't remember. I think that's what his name is. Bill Nye the science guy. Bill Nye. So, period. So that means it's the second bit in the table. So we've got to create an element, which is the second shell. So if we shoot some protons, so we get to the second. So that'll do. Lithium. So we've got to get at least, um, so it's three of these. For the top one and seven of these. Boom! Create oh, an element this, this is really good. Two electron shells. Because I didn't know what electron shells were, and now I do. Like, this is better than school. Oh, I'm getting all a bit mad now. 
Oh, I've run out. out. of neutrons. I've run out of neutrons now. I don't know where I'm going. Right, if you, if you get totally confused, you can reset your particles by your... I don't know what I'm doing now. Two... Two electron shells. There's four of those. Nine of those. And it's on the second period. Yes! I don't know what I'm doing here now. I think I totally guess. Create an element which has seven electrons on the outer electronic shell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And then there's three electrons on the out, uh, outer electronic shell. So, so three electrons on the outer shell. So it's one, two. Oops, that's the inner shell. One. Okay, three. It's three. So three in the outer shell, which makes minus five. So then if you put these into it, evens out, which is boron. Which is a free group down here. And you need 11 of those. Oh, I'm just getting too good at this now. Easy. So, reaction balancing teaches the students to balance chemical reactions. Ooh, this sounds exciting. If I was in school now and I made a game out of learning, I would have been amazing at science. Because school is boring. This isn't. Take a hydrogen molecule from the left. Take a hydrogen molecule. Hydrogen. Place this particle onto the table. On the table. Take an oxygen molecule Ooh. also from the left oxygen. and place it onto the region side. Oxygen. Take one water molecule from the right and place That's it on the water. table. Do a Pull the lever to check hydrogen. if the reaction is balanced. And two oxygen. That's not that's not balanced. You can see each element's particle count. Yes, and this, on the this bottom, is maths as well. The it's such a science. It's maths. Visually and in written form. Yeah. So water on the right. But now I got four on there and two over there. That's wrong as well. We so four, four, two, two. Oh, that's it. Well done. You have balanced the chemical equation. Yay! So this one's just maths. Oh, Your task four. is to balance the chemical equations. Okay, so I got what's that? Zinc or something? So I got two of those. And one of those. That's balanced. Oh, it's nice. Easy. This is fun. Okay. Um, I'll be go. So put that on there first. So that's uh, CH4. So we need um, one of these and four hydrogen. Chuck those on there. Boom! Nice. Science is fun. I like science. Science is fun. Mogu. How much Mogu do you need? One of those and one of those. Oh, okay. Go with another one of those. And another one of those. Boom! Well done! Oh, this, is, this, is, this is actually... this is I like this one more than the other one. The other one, I found the first one a bit confusing. So as you can see, this level, th this part of the game isn't that complicated. So it, I don't think it matters what age you are. Oh, maybe it is. Don't think it matters what age you are, as long as you can count your balls. Count your what? Okay, one of those. Um, okay, two. What have I got? Oh, I don't even tell you now. I've got to count it myself. Eight. Two, four, six, eight. And one, two, three, four. Yes! Nice! Oh, it does get a bit... As long as you're good at maths, I think you, you think you're good. So let's check out salts. This lesson teaches the students about various salts and their composition. Everyone likes salt. Na, NO2, Na, NO3. Oh, NO3. Boom. Done. Easy. Right. K C K C R. And. Boom! This is easy. Isn't this fun though? Learning science can be fun. So, by the game, go back to school and say, Hey, Mr. Science Guy, I learned science with a computer game. It was so fun. So fun. So fun. And A N O 3 is that one. As long as you can add up. And you're not colorblind, you'll be fine. N A N O. What? Oh no, I got another things now. Um, N A N O. Um, sodium. N O. 
Um, oh, I'm not sure. Oh no. So oh, I was sodium was right. It was nit sodium nitrate Ca CO2. Ca is calcium. And CO3 calcium um chloride calcium chloride. Yeah. No. F E. Um, I don't know. Iron. And iron sulfate. <laughs> okay. A G. Um, A G is um silver nitrate. Oh, my box went all funny. I what? I would right. silver nitrate. K C L K is potassium Cl chloride. Potassium chloride. I got this one. Why is K potassium? It just makes no sense at all. Right. Here we go. Silver nitrate in the box. Okay, so it keeps coming until you remember, which is brilliant because my memory is terrible. Strontium carbonate. Um, okay. Um, strontium carbonate. Copper sulfate. Uh, copper. Uh, I'll go with U, U, C, U, and sulfate. I will go with this one here. And I'll put them in the box. And I get it right. So there you go, everyone. That was my science lesson. All the information will be down below. If you're into science, it's really good. Like, if you're like a brainy brainy bird, then yeah, you probably would have got those straight away. My memory's terrible. I never remember the the letters and the tables. And then you got to add your maths in and you got to read and put it all together. And it's just one big school lesson. So I hope you enjoyed. All the information will be down below. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.